So I went, <clears throat> we, or are all of us except for Jalen, she was at school. Hey guys, uh, we went to the mall and I want to show you guys what we got really quickly. Weird way to start the vlog off, but hey, here it is. Michael got these shoes from Aldo, well, they're boots. Um, he's been really into wearing boots and stuff lately instead of sneakers. He's trying to be on his grown man-ish. So, um, he's been getting boots different colors and styles and stuff. And those are nice. And then, from H&M, I didn't get anything for myself. Um, Michael got a shirt, though. I like this shirt. It's like a green color. And it's just a basic button-up. It looks gray, but I promise it's like an olive green color. Really, really nice. And then... I got some stuff for the girls. Well, just Rylan and Jalen. Um, they didn't have anything in Zoe's size yet. They didn't start until four months, and she cannot wear four months at all. So I got this for um, Jalen. I thought it would be nice to for like wear leggings and a t-shirt underneath it, and some boots or something like that, um, or this with a belt and jeans, something like that. I thought really really cute. And I got this in a eight to nine. So, and it's like a high-low front and back, which is cute. And then I got two things for Rylan. These jeans, they're like skinny jeans. I thought they were super pretty. I love jeans like this. Um, and so for them to have them in her size, I thought they were cute. These are a two to three. <clears throat> and I got this dress, which might be a little too big. I'm probably going to try it on her tonight. And I might have to go back and get it one one to two um but it has i think these are flowers birds those are birds i mean it has flowers so i think these are meant to be birds really really pretty i thought this was super cute so i got that and then oh my goodness you guys so i found well i didn't find but brandy and i were we were walking to macy's and we saw this place called garage i've never heard of this place but it looked amazing and it was amazing and i think we have both been talking and we're probably going to go back because we fell in love i did some damage and i can definitely see my wardrobe shaking shaping out to be from this store <clears throat> so i got some leggings which you know always they're a little bit thicker than normal leggings which i like and they have the elastic band that just say garage i haven't tried them on um and i'm not a big fan of trying things on in store i hate it but I'll try it on here, and if I need to go back, I will. And I also want to pick up a couple of other things that I saw, uh, as long as these fit okay. So I got leggings. They were buy one, get one 50% off. I got a black pair, of course, and then these cool um, olive army, whatever, green pair. Really nice. And then I got this shirt, which I don't know if it'll be too big or not, like... Um, or not too big, too small. I want it to be loose fitting, so I'll have to see if it's too big. They didn't have a small, but they had an extra small and a medium, so I got the extra small. But I might go back and see if this doesn't fit well, I mean, and go get the, um, medium. But it's a wine color, and it has a little cross in the front, which is really nice, and it's just super long. Like I said, basic. Um, and then I got this cardigan love cardigans and it's gray this was on sale or clearance i don't know if it was clearance or sale um for 25 dollars it's super long i love the color of it it's cuffed on the ends and then it has pockets maybe no maybe it didn't have pockets i thought it had pockets i don't know anyways it doesn't matter that it does that it doesn't have pockets but i thought i it did i thought i saw something that was like made it look different anyways um but yeah i got that and the last thing i got is this sweater which again has like kind of a detail in the back um a cute little stitch in the back which is really nice and it's just gray so yeah that's what we got okay so i decided to take you guys along with me as i go through my closet these are all the clothes that i got rid of um, most of my clothes I don't wear. I just need to downsize and get rid of them. And I kept telling myself, I'm going to wear it when, I'm going to wear it when I do this. I'm going to wear it after I do this. And I never wear it. I'm not going to. I want to update my wardrobe anyway. So I'm just getting rid of it. So, um, my closet is a mess. These are all of the, um, 
hangers right here that I that came from here they were all over here and I also have all of these from the first time I went through and went through um, everything I have a bag here so that I can put that away for um, to donate those clothes and then I have like a bunch of stuff in here I'm never gonna wear like these well I'll probably wear these but these heels I won't wear them I got rid of a bunch of like heels and stuff and I honestly just don't wear these either these are like sandals which I need to just put away somewhere because having them out does me no good and then I have more heels over here that I just know I won't wear and if I do need to wear them in the case that I will it's better to just buy them then than to keep them because I probably won't wear them so I'm gonna get rid of these whoops and I'm get rid of that purse too actually what else these used to be my favorite and I wore them all the freaking time um so I'm gonna keep them because they're just nostalgic I love those shoes they're from Charlotte Rouge I have these but I, I just doubt I'm gonna wear them I'm gonna go through also I want to get rid of these because the fringe not gonna happen I saved them thinking I would wear them but I just in realistically I just want normal boots and not boots that have fringe on them or anything crazy so get rid of those and then there's like a couple of like just uh pants i need to put in dirty clothes and sweats and stuff um, from when us changing in here but most of this stuff i've already gone through um these need, are going to go downstairs there are suits from michael that he doesn't wear but they were in here they can go downstairs and storage um I still need to go through all of my jeans, but all of this already went through and it's significantly downsized. Um, yeah, like I said, all of this had clothing. So I'm going to get this cleaned up and then I'll come back and check in on you guys or give you guys a checkup, check in, whatever. And then I'll go through this stuff over here, which most of this is my husband's. But Okay, so here's what I did. I did kind of sort of color code <laughs> because... When I got rid of the things that I don't wear, my colors are pretty much the same. So, it was pretty easy to just put the colors by a light colors. Um, I have a couple of things that I actually bought that I'm going to be taking back and exchanging. So, it will be added to this. But, I have long sleeves and then s long sleeves and then long sleeve like sweaters over here. Um, I have a couple of like the button ups that I have. Which I don't really want to get anymore. I really want a black one to be completely honest. But if I find one that will be great. But I just have those. Um, I have sleeveless. And then long sleeve. Which if I wanted to. And just wanted my space to look more empty. Um, I could fold all of these. Because all of these are like t-shirts. They're nothing like too fancy besides um, this one. So those are over there. I have like all of like my intimates and stuff. I have this robe here. And then behind there are all like. Um, you know, you know, the unmentionables. And then I have cardigans right here. Um, I just, I did it on accident. I didn't mean to separate them. I meant to just put them all in here. But the way my brain works, I didn't even realize I was doing it. But I have cardigans here. And then I have like oversized shirts, which I wear like a cardigan basically um, here. And then all of my like sweatshirts um i have like two we have one load of laundry that is not in here so um and then like half a load of dirty clothes so i do have a couple of things left but i have another one just like this that's just a peachy color i don't know why this is not hung up correctly um so yeah those are there and then i have the three belts that i own right here and then i have my dresses they're michael suits which will go downstairs and then I cleaned this up. So I got rid of most of those shoes. I have, these are like my, um, you can't really see, but they're like, you know, army boots kind of, sort of. I like to wear those. I have those one pairs of shoes over here. My three Converse's. Um, I have some gray flip flops down there. And then here's where I kept all of my like sandals and stuff. And then down there is my Ugg box, which I put those in in the summertime when I'm not using them. So, that's all of that. I also cleaned this up. I took um, a bunch of my husband's shoes and put them over there. We're not donating them or anything. They're going to go downstairs because we do he doesn't wear them. They're just like occasional shoes where we're going out for date nights mostly and we're like casual. 
He doesn't really wear sneakers anymore, but he used to be a huge sneakerhead. So he has a bunch and they just kind of accumulated. Two bags so far of clothes. This is full of clothes. This is like halfway with shoes on top. And I think I'll be done because these are my clothes. I'm not going through Michael's clothes. I am going to straighten it up for the sake of like the room looking super clean. So next is this area. And I'll kind of show you that's my tea that I had. Um, I've been using these bins, which I got from like Marshalls or Home Goods, one of those like stores, for our socks. So my husband's socks are in this one, and then my socks were in that one over there. I did go, I did go through my socks too, but um, I only got rid of like two pairs because I honestly wear all of them. A lot of them are like fuzzy or like high tops or high socks that I wear like around with leggings and stuff. I like doing that. So. Anyways, these are his socks that are right here. Um, I will probably put this over here. This is just a weapon that needs to go downstairs or um, in our bedroom. But it we forgot about it. It was behind a bunch of box under a bunch of boxes. So um, it's just a handgun. So that will probably be moved, and I'll move the his socks over there. So it's kind of uniform. And then in here. These are the only things that I don't fold. I have to fold clothes before I can put them in the drawer. But my husband, there's no rhyme or reason for which white shirt he wants to wear. And I got tired of folding them for him to unfold almost all of them to find that one white shirt. So I stopped folding them and I just put them in here. I'm probably going to grab like four or five from the very bottom and just toss them so that way they all fit. That's what I do. I don't tell him, but that's what I do. Um, and that'll be fine. So I, I got to go through that. Silly is under the impression that somebody should be holding her at all times. Yeah. We need to break this. Says the person who <laughs> likes to stand with her. No, I don't stand anymore. Anthony does. You just used to stand. Yeah. You can't be a week a week sober of standing and then expect for it to change. A week sober. Yeah, a week sober of standing. That's what we're calling it sobriety. Uh -huh. Standing sobriety. Mm-hmm. Are you almost done? Why? So I can come get the kid? I mean, she's getting hungry. No, she's not. You can't use no, that she, excuse for getting. <laughs> Sally, is your daddy trying to pawn you off on me? Yeah. Okay. You want to come sit with mommy? Okay. Oh, she has gas. She's not hungry. Be a father. Huh? Be a father. Uh, I know. Okay, I'm back. Now that I have a child. In hand all right guys I am done and it looks amazing I'm super happy so I'll take you guys through it again um, what I did basically so this is just Michael section I put empty hangers on the corners here on both I didn't touch any of his clothes he went through his clothes and he kind of goes through them um, he has a couple extra shirts coming in we're really both trying to buy quality pieces instead of buying just random things um, so anyways, when he gets those things in, he might get some more or um, get rid of some more stuff. If he doesn't, that's fine. But this is all of his stuff and it fit. He actually downsized a bunch too. Um, and yeah, it, it looks good. So all I did was basically kind of organize it a little bit more. I took all of the hangers that were empty and put them over there. And then I just made sure that his jeans and slacks were, if you guys saw before, they were kind of jumbled in together. They'll get messed up again, but I'm hoping I can keep up with the way this looks, so it won't be that much to touch it up. His um, belts are right there. I did go ahead and put his socks up there, and then I just put the weapon underneath it. It's fine. Um, his shoes, I kind of put them in the order that he uses them, so he uses his boots most often. He also has like sneakers, like um, like tennis shoes. Like running shoes and easy ones um, some of the ones that he has is right there that he uses quite often but they go in the coat closet and if he decides he wants to put them in here um, he can put them on top of there or wherever but his two brown and black boots that he wears most often up top so you can reach them and then he I have his dress shoes right there and then some sneakers which he honestly doesn't wear sneakers that often but I figured a tan and a white I mean that's a good thing to have up here so there's that Moving over here, uh, my phone and my drink is there. I don't know where I'm going to put these. This is going to go downstairs. It's um, his beret from Army. He doesn't use it. Um, but it's good. something you want to keep, obviously. But it can go downstairs with all of that stuff. 
RKC hat. I want to get something to hang our hats up on. We do wear a lot of hats. He has a lot of sports hats. Um, this one is actually mine and he has like his Patriots and um, what's the football? Red Sox? Maybe? Anyways, I don't, yeah, the Boston Red Sox. Okay, so yeah, he has like those hats. I want to get something to maybe like hang right here for that. Um, so there's that. Like I said, all I did in here is I just grabbed a couple from the bottom and some that looked dingy um, and took them out. There's a couple in here that are messed up, but these are also what he works in. So um, I didn't just get rid of all the messy ones. I just got rid of, I just picked some randomly so that they all fit. In here, I think I got rid of only like two things from this item. These are his shorts. So um, these three are shorts that I know for a fact he only wears like their nicer shorts that he wears and then these over here the bottom two um, are shorts that he wears for working and the top it's just like you know it doesn't it, it doesn't really matter sometimes he uses them to wear them out and sometimes he's for work so I kind of have them separated it's winter time right now so he won't be using these um, so it'll stay neat for a while and then on the bottom are his sweaters um, which I got rid of two sweaters, I think, and then I just kept these. Most of them are the ones that we got from Express um, several years ago that he just doesn't wear anymore. He has a couple from other places like Gap and stuff that he likes to wear. So those are in there. And yeah, that looks good. Like I said, I vacuumed over here. Um, nothing changed. I already told you guys what I did here. Uh, what was I going to say? Okay, so this... I kind of use it as like a shirt I don't really know what I, I use it for like different things I normally use it to like put like um one of these I tied on my waist or something like that but I had it in the shirt section which is over here so I moved this to the dress section and I think I might have my husband raise this up one because um it's not on the floor but it's super close to the floor so I don't want it touching so if I raise it up one notch um uh, I think it'll fit better I do want to go through all of these things that are back here the unmentionables um because a lot of them i just don't wear i mean i don't wear them that often in general but a lot of them i haven't even touched or looked at or they were just meant to be like a one-time thing i know i do something with this stuff and then i have my dresses here like i said and then i have a couple of extra hangers here for things that are in the in that load of clothes and then also for any new things that i buy um so that is it for in here I think it looks super nice um batteries does let me hurry up, show you guys all the stuff that came out so I moved I don't know I also moved the hanger or the um suits that were there so they can go downstairs that's why it looks empty so three bags of clothes well two and a half of clothes okay so two and a half bags of clothes and then one of shoes um, and that's getting donated and then these shoes are going to go downstairs for my husband Pillows are going to go on the bed as well as the bear or somewhere. I don't know. I don't want to get rid of it. It's like, you know, a staple of our relationship, but I don't know where to put it. Um, so that'll go somewhere. This is what we got. I got from trash, a bag of trash. One of our canvases that we made at like the wine and painting party that we're not going to use. I kept one of them that I think I might hang up somewhere. Well, I know I'm going to hang it up. I don't know where yet. And then this um, here was what was in by the drawers in there um i put all my hangers in there and i think i'm gonna put that downstairs too can you believe at one point when we lived here all of these hangers were filled with clothes and in that closet and these are my hangers so i had all of these filled with clothes and there's a bunch so that's a huge change from here so i think that is it um i'm super excited and happy about the way that it looks it feels organized i feel like these are clothes that i would actually wear and there's a couple of things that will probably get taken out of here since i'm transitioning from having a baby um i think i weigh like 10 pounds more than my normal weight so if i get down to that size a lot of these stuff will be gone i have like maternity jeans that i like wearing too which i won't need to wear later on so a lot of these will be gone as well so there's several like shirts and stuff like that that I'll be getting rid of um, at some point in some jeans once I feel like I don't need to wear them anymore but they're just a lot more comfier um, even though I can fit all of my pre-pregnancy clothes too so yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed this somewhat and um, 
I'm just, I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope to do a bunch of other decluttering videos because I have a bunch of things planned. And I think it's going to be pretty casual and like, like this where I'm just kind of like talking about whatever. Um, and not more sit down videos and hope to show all of my declutter videos.